before we get started here, I just wanted to let the YouTube algorithm know that I am a fully licensed medical grower in Canada where it is fully legal. I have paperwork to back it up. Everything I do is 100% within the law of my country. And this is for documentation and entertainment purposes only. So here I was just plucking a leaf off of uh, a dirty looking old leaf off the bottom of this plant out in my greenhouse and look what I found another mantis he just ran right past my finger and i was like holy smokes there he goes hard to focus on can i focus there we go yeah cool huh so there's definitely a couple this is the second one i found this one's smaller than the last one so there's definitely a few of these guys still living out in my jungle here in the greenhouse very very, very cool i just wanted to show you an update as i find them They've been hard to find. I mean, they're, they're sneaky little buggers. <laughs> I only noticed him because he was by the leaf that I plucked and he ran away. been recycling soil seems I have a bit of a pot problem <laughs> hi <laughs> welcome to the greenhouse let's go inside okay so as we come in here you can see right away there is this big plant just taking up all the dang real estate here as soon as you walk in the door well this is the um, the other double purple doja that I put outside um, I've decided to bring it in here to make sure that it has enough uh, conditions to flower completely it's doing pretty friggin well since the last time you all took a good look at it um, yeah there was a little bit of light discolorization in here but other than that it's looking really healthy and uh, this friggin thing here, this uh, the CBD plant is still frickin kicking. It's such a weird thing. I've been checking it out. It's just not ready yet, man. It's uh, I'm gonna cut it down pretty soon, regardless though, because it's just kind of doing this fox tailing thing already, and just kind of it's it's a weird spacey looking bud, but uh, it's pretty frosty. Smells fucking delicious. And moving on here, we've got, uh, this one right here is the Congo. Um, definitely into a nice uh, stage of flower now, finally. Um, it's gonna take a long friggin' time. It's an African strain, it's a sativa. It's gonna take a lot longer than the other one, for sure. And then moving on down the road here, we've got the Double Purple Doja right here. And uh, this is in a little bit more advanced stage of flower, but not much. Probably better than it was the last time you guys all took a good look at it. I just want to focus. There we go. Um, yep, looking good. We've got uh, quite a bit of height up in here. Um, I've made an absolute mess with my scrogging here. Um, let me see if I can move the camera down a little bit. Yeah, there the. The scrogging is just kind of all over the place. Um, I'm doing the best I can to kind of tie it all down. I, um, as you can see, sort of by the big bow of that, it didn't do the greatest job. Oh, this one has split. <gasps> um, that wasn't there the other day. That's a fairly new big development. So I'm not too sure what's going on with that. I'm gonna tie it off to make sure it doesn't crack down any further and I don't lose my plant. Um, that would be a really big bummer. Uh, I would be devastated if I lost all the top half of that. So, shit, man. Fingers crossed. And, um, yeah, that's, that was bad. I just noticed that now. Hopefully that ought to do it. I brought it as close as I can. You can still see some air through, but it just wouldn't go any tighter than that. I didn't want to break it any further, so let's hope that, that holds. And then this fine, beautiful lady right here is, um, 
This is uh, uh, the, I'm having a hard time saying it for some reason, the Cherry Kush CBD strain, which is a one-to-one -one CBD strain. Looking very happy. It's a very, very healthy thing. This was the cologne I took out of the Grow Garage from last season. I did a little bit of cloning, and this is the one that survived. And wow, she's uh, she's vivacious. Anyway, um, the plants are looking pretty good, man. I really hope that crack, oh man, that is, that's bad news. I really hope that crack doesn't fuck all this up, man. I can see some yellow leafing in here. I'm gonna have to come inside here and clean out a bit of this yellow leaf. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on here in the garage. And I don't know, or in the greenhouse, pardon me. And I don't know if you caught that out of the corner of the eye when I was walking up here, but I uh, removed all the tomato plants. We had a, we had a whole, whole setup of tomatoes here and uh, I've uh, cleaned it all out and I've turned off the turned off the watering system for the year here. Um, I still have I still have access to um, 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 the water for the hose uh, just for purposes of watering everything else. And I'm gonna leave these all these in here for the year. I'll keep feeding them to the rabbits. They're good food for the rabbits. Good, good healthy greens. Uh, they'll keep greening most of the winter. And then when they finally go kind of dormant, um, I'll just throw a bunch of hay on them for the rest of the winter. And that's what's about going on here too. Oh, one more thing too, is the peppers on that pepper plant. Check this out. Um, if you can look past all the mess in behind here, there's a whole bunch of new flowers coming up. And flowers mean more peppers. So this is the pepper bushel that just will not stop giving us peppers. So I'm really fucking excited about that. And uh, one more thing I want to show you here before we get into. I finally got the, I found uh, the plastic pallets I've been wanting to do for underneath the grow beds here. I'll show you those things in just a second. And here we go. These are the big plastic pallets I got. Uh, I'm going to be putting two of these uh, under each of the large beds that I got. I'm going to run these down the greenhouse. And uh, yeah, these will be great. There's drainage in them. Maybe not as much as I would have liked. I would have liked more holes. Uh, I could drill more if I wanted, but I think these are going to do just fine. And I found them for free. So I'm really, really, really fucking happy about that because these were really hard to find even to pie them anywhere. Nobody knew what I was talking about. And then lo and behold, I found a stack. So I'm very happy about that. Don't forget to like the video, everybody. I'll see you real soon. Sorry this one took so long. This little one is a little bit late, uh, but uh, everything's growing along just nicely. I've been recycling a ton of soil. Oh, one more thing over here. Um, I gotta finish those off, but uh, my garlic bed is ready to go. I've uh, re-amended the top with a bunch of uh, uh, fertilizer and stuff, and then put a whole bunch of straw on it, and uh, threw that old fence thing on there just to keep it from flying around the neighborhood. And, Hopefully keep cats from pooping in it. <laughs> anyway, folks, thanks, and I'll see you real soon. Cheers.